Hello everybody, it's Kevin Ho here and we are here at a great listing in San Francisco for another buyer walkthrough. This property is over at Noe Street, which is down over there, on Ford Street, which is what we're on right now, and it's brought to you by Wendy Storch over at Sotheby's. Ford Street, you might remember, had, uh, it's a very small street, and it had that listing over at the end of the block over on, I think it was number, I can't remember which number Ford it was, but anyway, it doesn't matter because it's in contract. So this is a great one too. It was uh, historically two buildings, all part of one sort of overall estate and property, but it's been since divided into two condominiums over there. And then this detached structure over here, which is pretty, uh, well, it's really pretty, you'll see. The great thing about this, we're at number 87 Ford, is that you get two garages right here. So that's really nice. And then you'll see inside, well, you won't see inside, it's gonna be, it'll be special. So we're over here at Noe and Ford Street, of course, and we're gonna come in, number 87, there we go. First thing is, you come in, you have some really nice stone uh, entryway detailing here. Take a look at that. I think the first thing that I really noticed was the staircase. It's really, really cool. It's sort of the, uh, it's an architectural detail. There's a lot of bamboo and a lot of travertine in the property, and it's just super quiet too. So when you first come in, you'll notice this beautiful staircase, like I said, it's a lot of bamboo, and usually I'm not a big fan of bamboo, but here they've done it so well, I hardly even notice. It's just this great sort of organic yet solid piece edifice, but it's softer somehow, I think. Of course, down below, you've got travertine here, and you've got a really generous entry closet here. So you've got that, and more of that bamboo detailing here, and this turns on automatically when you come in, and your mail slot is over here. So that's pretty convenient. So closing that back up, there's the high baseboard detailing here, and the recessed lights all on gimbals, so you can focus it where you want. In here, let's take a look. This is the garage. I mean, you can tell from the concrete here and in the front that everything looks to have been rebuilt not too long ago, substantially so. You've got modern garage door openers. They're on the rubber bands. So instead of the gears, it's quieter. And you can tell they're all modern, even though they're separate doors, which is really nice. You have one, two, three spots. And um, of the other two condominiums, Wendy tells me that um, they are not used that often. So it's pretty quiet and pretty, pretty low key. Back inside here, I like this, even though we can't get to it right now. You've got a little access panel underneath the stairs. I always call them the White House, uh, sort of the White House doors too, where it's sort of concealed. You've got this really this nice entry area that allows you to just sort of relax and you know unwind from the day. So over here you have your first bedroom, which we'll look in a second. And the first one shows you more practical things. In here, you've got a set of beautiful washing machines, washer dryer uh, with pedestals, more storage up there, your vent fan here. Nice storage here, and then you got your little sink here in case you need to, you know, wash things out or whatnot. And here you've got a nice storage room here. And the sellers look like they're leaving a lot of nice supplies in terms of light bulbs and extra fixtures and more bamboo and the TV mounts from the bedrooms, which we'll see upstairs. So that's pretty nice too that they left us that. So the first room over here, it's, uh, it's the only room on this level. Um, you've got a full ensuite. Here you've got a walk-in shower. I love that black marble too. There's a black marble and your travertine on the floor. And then you've got nice uh, tile shower walk-in and you've got a really nice LED lit mirror. And then you've got your, you know, of course, your facilities back there and you have a really lovely outlook over there. Um, there is a shared yard, which I think is over here. Over here is the bedroom. Ceiling heights here are eight foot one thereabouts, so that's um, pretty generous. You've got uh, in-ceiling speakers, you can see there, and then you've got a uh, sophisticated wall mount for coaxial and um, HDMI as well. And over here, you've got a sort of in-law kitchenette area here. You've got the stainless steel, little refrigerator, little oven, and I think it's an electric, could be an induction, but it's probably electric stove. It's nice, convenient, smooth, and easy. They have it as an in-law. You can keep it as an in-law. You can take it out, whatever you would choose to do. 
Um, again, the bamboo detailing floors here. And over here, again, wow, there's a lot of jasmine over there. Wow, it's really pretty. And gas fireplace, so it gets cozy in here. It's really nice. And over here, it leads to the shared yard. Isn't me so... I wish you could smell it because it smells like, well, jasmine. So I think that goes outside like we saw earlier. This is the other end of the garage. These are the deck, this is the deck above, which we'll go see in a second. So yeah, it's just, uh, you know, the location can't be beat. It's phenomenal. Like we said, Ford Street is in the middle of uh, Sanchez and uh, Noe Streets here in the Castro. Um, it's pretty quiet. You know, big houses, bigger houses, nice houses, some condominiums, and then you get um, the location is so central, yet you don't have to really worry about it being on a main drag or whatnot too. So let's go upstairs. This is the more fun and exciting part. Let's go up. Again, the bamboo stairs, and you'll notice once you get up here, look at that. You've got this really nice central beam. It's about 13 feet above here, uh, above the floor. You've got this nice and open layout too that's super California, super practical. And it just, it just feels comforting and nice in here. So here you've got the very Tiger Wood, Sarah Tiger Flare kitchen. Uh, I guess they really like that too, but you've got the Thermador stove. I think that it's bigger than, the, I think actually maybe a 48 inch stove. You've got your Viking hood up there and your Viking refrigerator here too. More bamboo and the black sparkly granite countertops. Uh, pretty nicely done. Cabinetry is really smartly done too. Soft clothes, easy. And then you've got a nice deep sink. And then you've got the peninsula over here. Take a look at that detailing there. And you've got this really nice vaulted ceiling too, which is, I, I like it a lot too. Over here, of course, your living room and fireplace. Let's look at the amount of light that you're getting here. And of course, just because you've got your bar sink here, wine uh, refrigerator as well. And um, just, just a sense of drama. Now over here, you can see the light switches are pretty nice. They're all, I think these are the, the Grand or the Boutron ones too. Um, just really nice detailing shows you that you know cared that makes sense i know it sounds weird to say that but they did bamboo floors again like we said and here is a bathroom um let's see let me turn this on here and turn this guy on here so the same vaulted ceiling and then we've got the led mirror and nice vault ceiling here too some mosaic tile and it just walks right in um Probably a shower hoop if you wanted to, or you could put a glass door if you really, really wanted to as well. So there are two bedrooms on this level, and over here, we've got one or two. So let's go over to number two first here, and again, you've got really big room, and you've got sort of this master suite oasis. Yes, you've got your jacuzzi tub and big tub, whirlpool tub in your bedroom, but hey, why not, right? You've got your fireplace here, and then of course, you have a surround sound. I think it looks like a surround sound system. You got speakers, yep, up there. And then you've got speakers up there as two. And I think this is your subwoofer as well. Let's see, and it's Boston Acoustics. So, you know, it's pretty nice. This goes out to the uh, deck that we saw below. We'll go out in the other room. But yeah, it's really nice. You've got good storage area, a good storage, good amount of storage here. And then here is the other bathroom dual vanities. I love this floating sink. I love how the uh, uh, faucets come out from there. Take a look at that. It's pretty palatial. So you've got all that there. And, uh, you know, shower glass, shower curtain and whatnot. Floating vanity here, like we said. And then up there, you've got the dual vanity lights. And then it keeps going up. And I guess they had that open there for ventilation, which is really nice too. Um, let's go over here. So just look at that view. I think that's just pretty amazing. Now over here is this first bedroom or second bedroom, depending on how you viewed it. We went on and turned on the fireplace for you to take a look. Um, this one has a big generous closet too. And of course you can use the bathroom out front and you've got the nice fireplace here. Same idea, speakers, coaxial cable, audio cable, HDMI cables here and this 
is this nice oasis up here. Oh, look at that Japanese maple. It's really pretty, isn't it? You've got a little grill here, and you've got this nice decking as well. So yes, so this is 87 Ford Street, two car parking, three bedrooms, two levels. I think there were, how many bathrooms were there? Three, I think there were three, I think. Um, listed with Buddy Shorts, her friend over at Sotheby's, and it's a, you know, just a beautiful day here in San Francisco. And I think you get a good sense of what this space is like. It's pretty dramatic, bright, open and airy with an amazing location to boot. All right. Well, that's me. It's Kevin Ho with another walkthrough. Of course, for more, check out our YouTube channel, which you're probably on right now, and or visit our website at kevinandjonathan.com. We will see you at the next one. All right. Take care, everybody.